Okay, here we go. Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. In today's video, we're going to talk about a topic that has been very popular in the last 12 hours. Um, mm -hmm. Amazon Games recently announced that they're going to lower the difficulty of some of the tier 1 and 2 Guardian Raids and the Abyssal Dungeons. So I wanted to share with you my opinion um, on this matter, tell you both sides of the story because I have actually been through both sides of the story since Lost Ark 3 in the West. I have played yeah. with completely new players. Yeah, this guy's played with new people. He's also played the game before, uh, whenever it was in Korea. So it depends on what you have to say. Yeah, we'll look at Reddit and the Artesian thing after this. And I've also played with my old friends, which we have been playing together since Korea times. So this is the post right here from Rox, which is one of the community managers. Um, she says that difficulty is a hot topic when it comes to Lost Ark's endgame content and we've seen a lot of feedback around specific raids and dungeons that have left players feeling like they are more tedious than fun. Fun is really important for Lost Ark, for Smilegate in, gen in general, that people would have lots of it, yeah? Um, in response to this feedback, we'll be adjusting the difficulty of the following tier 1 and 2 content to make things a little bit easier. First thing you need to know is that this is not the first time when Guardian Raids and Abyssal Dungeons have been changed, altered from their original release version. In Lost Ark's history, these things okay. are constantly changing in terms of difficulty, the number of mechanics, the bosses' HP, I didn't know that, actually. Speaking about bosses' yeah. HP, Guardian Raids, right before our release in the West, have received a 30% boost in their HP. So compared to the way they feel in every other region, for us, it takes longer. To Is that confirmed? Because I, I just keep hearing that, I, I, I keep hearing this is true and it's not true. I mean, I would assume that this guy knows better than I do. So why did they increase their health by 30%? Yeah, I mean, why would they do that? Beta feedback? People said it was too easy. Yeah. In my opinion, I think that the, the fights that are really good are the ones like the Scorpion. Like, the Scorpion doesn't have that much health, but it has a lot of mechanics, and you need to react to them very fast. Like, those are the good, those are the good boss fights. These Guardian Raids. Now, I, I would like to share with you a couple like, of points of view here. A lot of, of health, here, I think, just makes it that worse. that I have experienced tedious. in our Western release, because I did uh, matchmake with other players, and most of the players who do play Lost Ark right now are new to the game and I can tell you that it's really really difficult for them to actually grasp all of the mechanics um, in the time that is allowed for them to do such a thing. Everyone including myself um, doesn't really treat this content seriously. This is just a pass by content. I want to get to finish it fast yeah. and mind my own business. The same mentality happens now with everyone else that's new inside Guardian Raids and Abyssal Dungeons. So the situation while you matchmake with other people is actually pretty tragic in that sense. So I'm not yeah, surprised. See, like, this is, this is what it is, right? It, it's the matchmaking that's really the problem. And it's also some of the abilities here. Can you guys please stop commenting on the guy's hair? Like, yes, uh, same hair. Actually, it's not true. His hairline's better than mine. So, look, he, here's here's the fact, right? Yeah, it's, it's appearance. Come on, guys. It's a bit much, all right? Uh, so, yeah, I mean, what I'm really trying to get at here is that I think matchmaking and people playing in groups is what's really caused a lot of the frustrations. Surprised that Amazon or Smilegate yeah. actually decided to make this change. Making things easier is sometimes a good idea, but sometimes not, simply because if you make all of the content trivial, that means that people will hit themselves harder later on when you won't want to make. Yeah, yeah, you basically, t you, you, you don't... You teach you don't teach players mechanics early on, and then because they don't know the mechanics, whenever they actually hit that hard fight, like there are games like this that have this happen. I remember uh, Wilson was like this. There was like I, I was playing through Wilson. If you guys ever played this game, it's like another ARPG, and like everything in the game was like super super easy, and then you just go up against this one boss, and it was just infinitely fucking hard. It was like some warrior in like some blue area. I forgot where it was. And, like, a lot of people just stopped playing the game there because, like, the game didn't teach you to play at that level, and then you're just randomly there. It's kind of like you're going like this, and it's like, oh, wow, this is way harder. 
And like WoW has the same problem, ironically itself, right? Is that like doing LFR and doing like the group content that's uh, queuable is so substantially easier than doing a group content in like a normal mode even that a lot of players aren't able to make that jump because the game didn't prepare them to do that. Whereas in Classic WoW, if you knew how to like level up your character all the way through, assuming you didn't buy like mage boosts or something like that, but you actually played your character, by the time that you hit 60, there were a lot of things about the game that the game had taught you how to do. Uh, I think that like the best thing, like you know what a perfect a perfect example of this is, is Ishin in Sekiro. Ishin in Sekiro teaches you how to jump, or it takes your your skill in jumping. It takes your skill in Mariki counter. It takes your skill in staggering. It obviously takes your skill in deflecting. And on top of that, it takes your skill in lightning deflection as well in the last phase. It takes every single thing that the game has taught you and made you learn, and that is your final test as a player. Can you use everything that this game has taught you how to do together in order to beat this fight? And that, in my opinion, is the, and Genichiro is the, is the first test, right? Because you learn that. But, like, at that point, like, you'd already gone through the eternal area where, like, that, there are other lightning things, etc. So, like, Sekiro is a great example of an incredibly hard game that is completely fair. It is completely fucking fair. And the mechanics and the way that it teaches you those mechanics is incredibly well done. It's incredibly well designed the content trivial and i'm talking about tier yeah it three trained content. you if that's you what give... it should be is that the game should teach you how to get better by giving you visual cues like the same as like the red thing over your head remember you can mariki counter or uh you know other things like that or, or the red thing where you have to jump over it, right and you have to be able to detect which one it is the impression that everything is just really easy not only it reduces the impact that that content has on you it reduces the maybe the good memories or the fun memories that you might have with that content that it was so tough and we tried yeah. so hard with, 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 with my groups and I was maybe even matchmaking and I carried that group right after they died. Um, so, you know, it, it's always a, it's always a very thin line, not allowing people. To yeah, I actually really the thing with the Guardian fights is that I actually really like them. I, I, I love the Guardian fights. I love the idea of going in and fighting a boss like, it's just me and the boss. Me versus the boss, and there's different levels of that. And I can make my character more powerful, and I can do that. I think that's so cool. I like soloing uh, the Guardian Raids. Doing them in a group is often frustrating for me, because it's either me underperforming or my group underperforming, and in both cases, I'm frustrated. Whenever I'm playing solo, I know that it's just me. Experience difficulty in what's supposed to be difficult content, as in Guardian Raids and it should be Dungeons, hard. Um, might create a feeling of everything's too easy. And I expect that to be easy for the rest of my time in Lost Ark. There are a lot of parts of Lost Ark that are very casual friendly. There's a lot mm -hmm. of stuff that involves some killing or some mechanics, but not Guardian Raid level or Abyssal Dungeon level of mechanics. And I think Lost Ark is in general a very balanced game. So nerfing tier 1 and 2 content um, is definitely a, a questionable decision. However, I don't think it's the worst decision that they can possibly make. I think that I think fun that and having fun too. and having a great time in the game is as important as cultivating... You know what I would really like to see them do instead of nerfing any of the Guardian raids? Make it to where you can only get one soul a day. <laughs> Like, having to do two Guardians is, like, a lot. It's kind of like, you know what it reminded me of? It reminded me a lot of, uh, of Visions. Uh, like, Visions in, uh, in WoW, where you have to do two of them. And, like, most people do, like, one than the other. And it's, like, usually, what, what, am I the same as you guys where, like, I just queue the same Guardian twice? Because, like, I queue the highest tier Guardian I can possibly do to give me the most rewards? Like, that, that's what I do. And so it's like you, you beat the boss and then you immediately go back and do it again. It's just, I, I don't know, like, I think the gameplay sucks. Sometimes I do different ones just to, to switch it up, but that's usually what I do. The idea that Lost Ark does get difficult at one point. Should it yeah. be difficult in tier 1 and 2 content where, where every single content creator that's out there on YouTube and Twitch 
just breezes through it and says that this is just a passing by stage this means no i don't think so i actually think that the tier one and tier two content should be hard but just because i think they should change vertus's mechanics doesn't mean that i think they should make him easier like i, I think for example the tail whip that he does is very easy to tell whenever he's going to do it the breath that he does i think should freeze you like there should be other mechanics that make the game harder but the mechanics that make it harder should be easy to understand and they should be easy to see like not being able to see and understand what's happening should not be a metric in difficulty it's nothing i don't want to be here i want to get there where everyone else that has already played the game is having such an easy time and not using pots, not spending more than 10 minutes per Guardian Raid or 10 minutes per Abyssal Dungeon. So because of that, it creates a little bit of a discrepancy in opinion um, in between a new player and, and someone that a new player watches do the same things as they do, only much easier, much faster, and they are already in a place where every new player is recommended to be which is tier three because they have yeah. no problems matchmaking queuing and, up. and this is i think another problem and this is just what happens with like uh gaming is that nowadays everybody follows what twitch streamers do like you remember back whenever shroud was using the wingman and uh everybody started using that in apex but like nobody could aim like shroud because they weren't professional csgo players and like every single person was popping off using the wingman. I don't, yeah, but like on release, dude, every single fucking, like half of the encounters that you would have were with people with the wingman or the, uh, uh, the R301 or no, the R2, like the, the other one that like has a, it, it does more recoil. I, I forgot which, uh, which the other one was. Yeah. Wingman peacekeeper. Yeah. Though, yeah, those were the days, man. R99, yeah, there you go. So, like, this is what happens. is like, a lot, of, uh, a lot of people follow what Twitch streamers do, and they think to themselves, okay, well, this is what, um, uh, th this is just the way that the game should be. This is the best way to play the game. And, like, the worst part is that, like, they're not wrong. Uh, you know, like, players in video games now are much more goal-oriented than what they used to be. Like, back in the day, whenever a video game used to be an adventure, this wasn't really as much of an issue because people played video games for a different reason. But, like, nowadays, people play video games for a, th their purpose of playing the game is to succeed, is to get to the end. And why is that? It's because there are so many more resources, there are so many more demands on people's time, and I think also... A big difference is that how did 30-year-olds play video games 20 years ago? Well, the truth is there weren't really a lot of 30-year-olds playing video games. Like, there, or at least there were not as much as there was then as there is now, right? There are more because, you know, us that were, you know, like we're 5 or 10 or 15 then, well, now we're, you know, 30, 35 or 40 and or 25, right? So we're older. And the gaming audience itself has aged up because video games, you're now having people that grew up with video games as like kids or, uh, you know, teenagers these are now adults and some of these adults especially in the teenagers right like my cousin for example like my cousin uh, my cousin Mike he uh, like he was the only person that I like my mom if I ever didn't know what to do in a video game ask Mike he'd know right and like he would know everything about the fucking games. Uh, no, not pri no, not prison, Mike. Right? And uh, like he had an Atari, and it's just like yeah, he was he was really really good at games, right? He's like 40, 40 something now, right? I mean he's way older. He's old, he's older than me. Like he was almost like he was like I was like ten or so years older than I am. And so like obviously I. Uh, you know, people like that, they don't have the same amount of time to spend playing games. And like 20 years ago, whenever this was happening, or 25 years ago, whenever this was happening, I didn't, uh, I didn't have the opportunity to, you know, have, we didn't have, the, we didn't have as many people that were like 40, 45 playing video games. So like nowadays you have like changing priorities from an aging audience. You have uh, more information being readily accessible more demands on players time and also just like a general a uh, mindset change and like you see this same mindset change and this mindset change was what i think made a lot of my elden ring streams bad 
not bad, but like I, I don't think they could be as good, and I didn't enjoy them as much because whenever I, I, I was gonna play the game, I was like, well, let's we've got to move, 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 and like I wasn't thinking, wait a second, slow down and just enjoy and play the game. And today, whenever I play Elden Ring later on today, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna just slow down and play the game and try to enjoy it, man, because that's what I want to do. So that that's what my that that's what it comes down to is that. A lot of times and a lot of reasons why people try to min max now it's not just one reason it's like 10 reasons and nice. ironically i think the reason why my lost ark screams have been so good and so many people have enjoyed them is a big reason for that is simply because i am not rushing to the end of the game i'm playing throughout the entire game i'm reading the cutscenes. i'm watching it right and i would say that my lost ark streams have been better than the streams that people have had that they just go immediately to tier three and they're sitting there trying to upgrade and buying things with a credit card like i don't i think i think i think mine were better i do so it, it's like you know what a great example of this is and actually a time that i i self-owned is new world can we all just be fucking honest here and say that Tim's New World streams on the beta were better than mine? Because they were. They were just fucking better than mine. Uh, they, they were funny. Uh, he was like trying to raise money for Winsward. It was just, it was fucking funny, man. And, and it, like, obviously, like, yeah, I was doing other cool stuff, etc. right? I know you guys a lot, a lot appreciate it, but I watched his streams and I, I watched his stream. And I said, people in here are having more fun than what they were having in my stream. And it was a learning experience for me. You see what I'm saying? Tim the tax man. Yeah, there you go. Tim the motherfucking tax man. So yeah, I mean, and, and this is like, it's a, that's a good thing. And like, I, that's not a bad thing at all. That's a good thing. I, I've always looked at like content creation. And this is a tangent, but then I'm going to get back to the video. I've always looked at content creation that like, I want to look back on my content that I did two years ago and cringe. Because that means that I've grown and I have evolved as a content creator. So like whenever I realize I'm doing something wrong or I should take a different approach, I don't think that's a bad, I'm happy whenever I learn that because now I've learned a way to improve. Restarting grades, getting their daily Fair materials and epic, so man. on. Oh, I, I believe that the, in this case, we one. as a community should My definitely let Amazon amazing. know that we're seeing this and that it's a little bit of a raised eyebrow kind of decision. Yeah. However, it's not something big enough to impact um, Lost Ark in, as, a, as a game in the grand scheme of things simply because it is about tier 1 and 2 content and simply because if they keep more people playing yeah. Lost Ark for longer those same people that are now new are going to have They'll more time to, tier two. to just tier play three. the game and get used to everything and later on when stuff does get difficult um, have a better time simply because they've just been in the game for for long enough This is how it goes in Lost Ark You don't actually necessarily need to practice one boss until you get good at that boss You just need to practice Lost Ark in general right the way the mechanics spawn where they spawn how your character moves How you control it how what what, what impact do skills have when a you lot of ARPG? Uh, skill comes with precision of movement and a lot of people don't realize this because they probably don't play a whole lot of ARPGs. But like good movement precision, if you watch somebody like if you watch me play PoE and you watch Quinn play PoE, Quinn is infinitely better than movement than I am. And if you watch Lighty play PoE and you watch Quinn play PoE, Lighty is infinitely better than Quinn. And a lot of that is movement. You see what I'm saying? And like, yeah, movement and character, uh, like uh, character awareness. Press them. Do they keep you? Do they not Perfect. keep you? He and knows. so on. So this is more important, right? Right. To, to make people happy right now to stay longer in the game. And uh, if this allows that, then I'm all in for that. However, the decision is still, you know, on the edge in that sense. And we need to make yeah. sure as a community that even though we shouldn't rage now for this particular decision, we should keep an eye open for future decisions because we don't want every single content from now on, including the one that's supposed to be hard, which is tier three, to get nerfed simply because some of... I think that there needs to be a paradigm shift in terms of the way that players look at matchmaking. And matchmaking, in my opinion, it, it, most of the people, if I had to guess, most of the people that had a bad experience in the Abyss Dungeons 
had that bad experience in a matchmaking group. I mean, and, and again, this is just me guessing, but that's what I think is going to happen. The people who servers are up didn't like this see. one because it's too too difficult because they didn't have enough time to play the game. Um, we'll say the same thing about tier three because that one is actually difficult. Um, so we cannot just nerf everything. That's why we as a community should keep an eye open. We shouldn't be uh, we shouldn't be anxious. We should just be you know cautious. Um, and that's basically my recommendation. And these were my thoughts on the tier one and two difficulty changes. As always, I'm interested in reading what you guys have to say about this and how you feel. Um, about these changes what do you think why do you think they were done and do you think so. that it's actually a big deal or not until my next video i wish you lots of love thank you so much for watching i'm gonna see you really soon take care it's a good video i think that's pretty fair honestly on what is uh what his opinions are and everything like that yeah um yeah i think that was a that's that's fair everything he said there was pretty much completely fair and reasonable